and we are back everyone so now let's take a quick look and uh You're check really my only friends who kept in touch i should have kept more in touch so here's the dvd player now i just need to find the dvd oh okay so it should be in the drawers then she I has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating yeah, we. Uh, I remember that. Nothing but medical supplies. Yeah, same thing. Well, I thought that would have been a disc, but uh, it looks like it's not. So, it's in here somewhere then. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to. Any college. Hmm. So that's what. Godless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. <laughs> Even if it wasn't another reality. Yep, and I definitely remember that part. Wow, sir. Uh, Chloe no, no, was a straight wrong. A student. She could have gone to any college. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Okay, it's not in the drawers. It's just the medical equipment. Okay, am I missing something? Please. No, seriously though. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Ah. There's just medicals. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. And what's the second what? one? Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Hmm. Alright, we got the movie, so let's put it on. She's. Ah, uh, I thought I actually thought she was about to fall asleep. To be honest, or something might have happened to her because of the condition. Glad it didn't work like that. To be honest, <laughs> that's that's cute. They actually spend night uh, here together, and she's here. Like, the bed was so thin, I thought she actually left for uh, some reason. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's mm. the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, 
can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine uh. injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. It's time to help her, and here's the father. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Ow. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Wait, wh huh? Come to my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. Ah, oh, right. This is al alternative reality. Sorry. Ah, this is just a uh, previous pictures I made. So, uh, can I talk to you about the so Eiffel Tower? Are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. Huh. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Nah, not really. Not really, no. There are some cute boys there, but you know me, I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit, I sound like my dad. Mm. Oh, speaking of speaking of that, how is he? How is William? Do you like having him around? Of course. He's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or mom. I wish I could do something for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. Uh, I thought I could uh, talk to you about this Eiffel Tower, but maybe uh, not her, but William. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Ah, uh, yeah, the one which took me so... These Much. whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Hmm. Interesting. So... I definitely have to take a third job. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Ah. Uh -huh. He is already in two jobs. He's uh, trying to get the third. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, yeah, this is what I was looking so at. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. 
You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Uh, yeah, w what about her? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you are here. That's she is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her, and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Well, that's the whole point of us altering the reality, chain, uh, returning him back to life. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Yeah, what about the Rachel? He's, she seems to be, like, really into missing. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Well, you know, while we're at it, let's just ask everything, like, uh, what exactly we altered. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. And what about this? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh. I don't even like to think about it. She, she's not working in a diner, but uh, on Prescott's. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Uh, yeah, it looks like I just made uh, their life more miserable. Choice is a food coupon boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Hmm. Well, they're pretty much counting every penny now. So, the phone is upstairs. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Ow. Twelve hundred dollars per week. Ow. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. So they just have to pretty much sell it all at this point and see you guys in a sec standard procedure 